I quit my job. I feel like there's a lot of like hidden pressure. Hi, ignore everything. It's super messy. But I just came home like 20-ish minutes ago and I'm in a rush because I'm going to a Kiehl's event. I don't know why I feel rushed because it started at six and it's still late. I don't have to be there at a certain time. But I think because I told myself I was gonna be there at a certain time and I'm not doing and I'm not getting there in time, I feel stressed. Also, a big reason is because I could not find anything to wear. I changed so many times, but it's just you know when nothing's working out, you know? But this is the best I could do. I had an outfit earlier and I was like, this could work, but then it would just be an insult to <laughs> everyone who would see me there. I'm going for this look. I'm wearing a champion like sports bra, bra type of thing under. And then this shirt is from Muji. It comes with the matching pants there, but I feel like it's gonna be too much. So I'm just doing uh, dark jeans. My whites are out like crazy. So I need to go do them um, sometime this week. Uh, and I wanna just do my makeup and then I'm gonna go pick up Yasmin because she is my plus one. So here's the team. I started vlogging a few days ago because it was my last few days um, at my old job and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna vlog, take you guys along with me. It's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna show you around. Where is she? You know, where is she? Where's the vlog? It's not that I forgot fully. It's that I just couldn't. Like, it just didn't make sense. I wasn't able to do that and do my job at the same time. At the intro, I'll put it here for you. Hi. Hi, vlog. Welcome to a new video. I'm not at home. I'm in a hotel. This is the sixth hotel I've been in in a span of like 15 days. It is now April 26 and I'm in Abu Dhabi because there is a festival going on and as part of my job, I cover the festival. Um, but yeah, I quit my job. I quit my job. This is my last few days. It is now Friday and my last day is Sunday and I start a new job on Monday. I wanted to kind of take you along for a few days at work before I leave it. Of course, it wasn't like this every day. This is when there's an event going on or something like that. And yeah, I can finally say where I work. I work at Hypebeast. I worked at Hypebeast by the time I'm editing this. It's been quite a journey. It's been fun. I've, I worked at Hypebeast for almost three years and it was a cool experience. It was something different. I think it's a favorite job I've ever had. And I'm not leaving because of like anything. I'm just leaving because I got another opportunity and it just seemed like the right move at the time right now. So what I do did do did at Hypebeast is I helped launch Hypebeast Arabia. So Hypebeast has like different platforms. They have Hypebeast Style, Hypebeast Kicks, Hypebeast Hype Art, Hype time they have so many different verts and along with those verts are also different regions so there's hypebeast arabia there's hypebeast brazil hypebeast latam hypebeast africa and all of these different places hypebeast uk and i launched hypebeast arabia with hypebeast so we did that in like 2021 and pretty much i'm the social and editorial lead on it so i write articles based on the mina region and it's called arabia but we do arab countries iran and turkey and um, yeah, so I write, I create content, I edit, I post, I interview people and all of that and I do it for Hype Beast and Hype Bay. And my journey has come to an end and I'm sad but I'm excited because I'm excited for my next chapter. So I'm going kind of back to my roots. I studied digital production and storytelling which is filmmaking and directing and producing and all of that and I'm going back into that. I'm very grateful for Hype Beast and the team and everything that came with working at Hype Beast. That sound terrifies me. I don't know if you heard it but the walls are I think super super thin so if anyone moves or bumps into the wall in the next rooms it's it's loud and I keep thinking someone's coming into the room. Anyway, um, at Hype Beast it was very editorial and social and stuff like that so now i'm kind of moving away from that and going back into directing and producing and stuff like that i'm excited i'm 
I mean, I'm not nervous actually. I'm not nervous, but I'm excited. It's gonna be new, something new for the region. I'm really excited to get that started. And um, ending Hype Beast with a Bang, we have an annual, kind of annual festival that, that's been happening. It's called Bread and it's Bread Abu Dhabi presented by Hype Beast. It's like five days, there's different brands, there's different food vendors, there are different artists that come down and everything like that. And this year is a massive lineup actually. There's Metro Boomin, Offset, Ty Dolla Sign, Don Tolliver, and a lot of regional artists like Marwan Pablo, Abusive, Noor, and all of those people. So it is now day three. There's two more to go. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to bring you along, check out the festival, see kind of like what I do, the type of content that I capture and post and stuff like that. I think it was always okay for me to say that I work at Hypebeast. It's not like I'm not allowed. I don't, I don't think I'm not allowed, but I just didn't because I was like out of respect to the job. You know, but it's in my bio on Instagram, so if you've seen it, you've seen it, you know. That's the intro to this vlog. Again, I'm very grateful for my opportunities at Hype Beast. It was so fun and cool being like an editor based in Dubai. I think I went knees deep into it. It wasn't like a gradual process. Um, so it was really cool and I love doing it like that versus just like taking step by step, you know But yeah, I'm super grateful. I'm super excited and welcome to a new vlog of uh, my last few days as an editor in Dubai So yeah, bye! And then with that, I'll also show you a few snippets of what I filmed Oh my god, on camera, it looks like the worst makeup look Actually in person, it also kind of looks like the worst makeup look just trust the process. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you the different things I filmed and how that week, five days went. Shout out to Hype Beast, man. She boy Offset, man. The greatest to ever do this shit. I do this dripping shit. If nobody else do it, if you need some notes, come on my page and take some, cause you niggas already already is taking notes. Let's go. I like your Tiffany ring too. Oh, no, nice. no. So I came back from Japan on Monday. I was home on Tuesday and then I went to Abu Dhabi on Wednesday. Um, and then I finished Sunday late night and I decided to just come back home that night instead of come in the morning and then go to my new job. I did it back to back. Not the smartest idea, honestly. I definitely do feel drained and I feel like I should have taken two days off and then just start on May 1st, which is tomorrow. But I'm also glad I didn't because I've locked some things in and things are happening for the new job. And if I started two days late, it probably wouldn't have worked out. So yeah, that's the tea. I'm done with Hype Beast. I said my goodbyes to the team. I handed over everything I needed to hand over. And I did my final video edits and everything. And I think everything I've worked on is officially up. I have nothing left. It's bittersweet, but I'm super excited for the next chapter. I'm excited for the projects that I'm working on. One of the main things that I was thinking about as I was leaving Hype Beast is I wonder if people are not gonna care about like inviting me to their events and stuff anymore because I'm not representing a publication. But Kiehl's invited me and I love Kiehl's. Literally, I think 80% of my skincare is Kiehl's. I love them and I'm so excited to go as me. I'm not going as Hype Beast, I'm not going as Hype Bay, I'm going as Camellia. So that's pretty cool. My goal definitely is to do my own thing at some point in life. It's very easy to feel pressured because everyone around you is doing their own thing and people younger than you are doing their own, own thing and stuff like that. I feel like there's a lot of like hidden pressure. I believe that everyone has their own timing, everyone life path is different and um yeah just because you're not self-employed doesn't mean you suck you know what i mean um i definitely like the security of working for someone working for a company and then 
getting a salary every month and all of that it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable and a lot better but hopefully one day i'll be able to this is guys this mirror i've had her for so long it's it was a moment you know it was in my princess era you know i am looking forward to that day where i'm able to be more independent from working for a company but that's like way down the line i'm in no rush for sure um i get impatient at times but i'm like girl chill but i really am enjoying the new gig it's just been a few days i did two days this week but i did like five days with them before i went to japan and it's actually quite fun um it's very hands-on and stuff so i'm super excited to see the projects and stuff come to life i do want to continue with youtube like i do want to stay consistent i'm super super passionate about it and uh, people have been saying nice things about it so um it's been cool and then i do want to up my game on like instagram and tiktok and stuff like that instagram girl she's super um intimidating instagram is the one that i'm the least comfortable with just because i feel like it's so judgy i don't feel very comfortable being super like out there on instagram it's like a super brushed up version of everybody and i'm not into that and i also tiktok i'm like oh these are majority strangers and um youtube again is the same thing like it's majority strangers or you literally have to want to watch me to watch me you know what i mean so if you know me personally or if you don't know me at all you're choosing to watch me instagram instagram's just out there and i don't know man she's scary anyway enough yapping i'm gonna go pick up your skin i was trying to fix <laughs> this and i could definitely should i get my hair dryer cool so like where's the thing also i have no idea where any of my things are i'm not in my room i am in the house but i'm not in my room and then my room is somewhere else some of my things are here, some of my things are there, some of my things are like, I think still packed. April was an interesting month, a very not in my zone month, but super grateful, good times. Found her, she was packed. Cute, okay done. Also, I'm still getting used to working with this camera. The lighting settings are not what I want it to be. So I just have to figure that out. But this is the lurk. Um, let's go. It is, it's eight. Yasmin and I were planning on leaving the house at seven. But yeah, let's go.
the focus. Okay, I need to fix. I need yeah, to figure so out two things. Yeah, I was gonna say the focus. The focus. The focus takes time, mm -hmm. and then the lighting. See here, the lighting is great, but when you're inside, it's kind of yellow. Can do so I need to figure the setting. Yeah, the I need to do a little tutorial on yeah. the settings. But we got goodie bags. Yay. We'll show you in the car what we got. Um, very generous goodie bag too. Like very. there's a lot of things in here. Listen, guys, honestly, Kiehl's is so actually so so super good. I was telling the vlog before I came. This shop is cute. Yeah, I know. I just want to enter. It's and dangerous. Just, yeah, like. But I'm like, I really yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't need, I yeah. don't need it. <laughs> um, I was telling the vlog earlier. I think 80% of my skincare is Kiehl's. It really is. And my face, my skin is sensitive. Kiehl's works for me. Yeah, because it's like medical. -ish. Totally. But like that's so, by science. Totally. Um, but yeah, she's not no cap. Mm. She's being for real. <laughs> Are we? Do you want something? Do from, you want I don't mind eating from Chaiwala. Yeah, we can. And have a matcha nice. boba. The food's nice. Matcha boba and, and chit chat. Yeah, I don't want Always. matcha boba because I just had matcha before I left uh, work. Oh yeah, I saw. You know what I forgot about vlogging mm -hmm. with a camera? It's heavy. It gets heavy. Okay, wait, hold on. Oi. <laughs> just imagine. Hey, what's up vlog? So today, you know. <laughs> so we're in Al Circal Avenue. Yeah. We're... I'm not totally hungry. I need to drink something, but like we can also share a. Oh my god, look yeah, how protective we can, and sweet. Yeah, I'm taking care of my girl. Let's let's see food. Yeah, see the, the face wash, dude? It's, the skin is skinning, you know? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the first time in my life, my skin is skinning. It looks fabulous. Thank you. Also, facial recommendations for. Um, facial. For getting rid of open pores, because God knows I have mm. open pores. I think Enough for everybody. Facial recommendations in general. Like what do like what facials do we need? What facial? Yeah, like what facial? Just what facial? You know? I have purse. <laughs> I have what facial? Okay, let's do so skin type analysis so that people can recommend. My it. skin is mainly oily. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You? My skin is dry. Facials for dry skin that lacks like glow, you know, like mm. it's giving dull. Love that for us. Leave right. a comment down below. Thank <laughs> you. We're gonna order now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna do a what's in my Sephora Kiehl's PR bag. Lollipop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. So this is the Calendula. <laughs> Calendula deep cleansing foaming, foaming face wash. For normal to oily skin type. It's my favorite face wash. I love it. You use a tiny, tiny bit and it does everything you need. The toner, yeah. it is, I have one unopened because I haven't finished my I toner. I think I have a mini one. Oh, really? Yeah. If this is good, this is going to be good, yeah? Ultra Facial Cream, I have oh. three unopened ones because I'm using one a current one. Yeah, I've done a lot of love. Too. So freaking good. Oh my god, excited for travel also, it's perfect size. Yes. I have the refillable bag that you like <gasps> fill. Yeah, oh yeah, I have oh loads yeah, of yeah. I love it. Stocked for the rest of my life. Vibes! Yasmin doesn't have these because we're using them <laughs> as tripod. tripod. So we have the truly targeted blemish clearing solution. Ooh, it's like this is a liquid patch. Their oh, version of that's the pimple. that's the thing that they had. It's a liquid pimple patch, pretty much. SPF. I have a stock of these. Which <laughs> okay. It's my favorite. Oh my god, it's FTF52. It's so good. <gasps> Love it. It's so good. Expertly clear blemish treating prevention lotion. Ooh. Treating and preventing lotion. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, we're stocked. Yeah. Thank you, Kiel. Thank you, Kiel. You guys and are the best. Love you Ta. long time. Love you long time. <laughs> Love you for the longest time. Totally. Hey. This was the tripod. Makeshift tripod. Two phones and heels. All you need for the vlog. All you need. Was this sink? It's so big. Are you gonna wash your nasty ass hands? Totally. We're eating with our hats. Disgusting. <laughs> Remember when there were tutorials on how to wash your hands? Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored. <laughs> Sponsor her. Work with me, make me a brand ambassador. I swear I'll be so good. Oh my god, she really would. Okay. Then, um. Hi. It's oh my god. 
Hold on. So Yasmin came over. We chilled with my family and stuff like that. I just dropped her back home. It is now 12.30. And I need to go to sleep because I have work tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one on Thursday. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and stuff. And let me know what you think and what you want and what's happening. You know? Tell me about your life. Bye!